blog. And I'm going to stop along the way and show you several examples of projects I made along with projects some of my crafty friends swapped with me and just some papers and some things and we'll see how far we get and see how the time is and just plan on having fun. Okay, so I have this, this is my website and I have this catalogs available now and it's also on, in the description of this video, you can get the link. Okay, so I like how the catalog opens. It opens landscape and the last time I did a product walkthrough, there wasn't enough room and um, I did it on Facebook and someone said, stop moving the catalog so much I'm getting dizzy or something they said. So what I'm going to try to do is just, I'm only going to move it like, I'm not going to keep picking it up to try to bring it closer. I'm just going to like flip the pages and kind of slide it back and forth just so you don't get dizzy. Okay, good. I have someone joining me. Hi, Nancy. So we're just going to walk through the whole thing. I like all the pretty layout and pictures. Here's a note from our, our Q&A from our founder. Shelly Gardner, or co-founder. I think she and her sister found the company. Her daughter is now running the company as the CEO. Okay, and her, and her daughter's name is Sarah. All right, so the first section of this catalog starts out with kits. Okay, I'm not gonna open up every kit because, just because of the time, I, do, I, I have other videos where I've done a lot of unboxing. I will show you the papers, but I'm not gonna open every kit again. I will show you this one now. Okay, so we have there's three types of kits. Let me reach around. Our three types of kits. Oh, wow. I just, let me just say hi to everybody that came in in case I missed anybody. Nancy, Joe, Julie, Caroline, Donna, and Sheila. Okay, our three types of kits are all-inclusive. And when you get an all-inclusive kit, it means that you have everything you need, including stamps, a stamping block, all of your cards, your little embellishments or stickers, whatever you need, in this case, there's twine in here. Okay, so that's called an all-inclusive kit. All-inclusive kits come in nice, pretty boxes, but I didn't open this yet because I, I, do, I do videos on each kit, and I'm, I'm excited to unbox this at another time, this kit. So I will unbox it, and then I'll make things with it, and I'll show that in another video. But I did have one of these already unboxed. This is the next kind of kit. The next kind of kit is called a project-based kit, and when you have a project-based kit, it means that you have the stamps separate from the stamp set, which is really nice because you can make, so here's the stamp set. You can make things with the stamp. You can, that means that the demonstrator, if they're running a workshop, for example, or in case, and you're just making this for yourself, you would only need to get the stamp set, or in the case the demonstrator would bring the stamp set to the workshop. The participants, or in, 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 if you're the customer, you are the participant, you get a whole box, and this, you can just keep getting more of these. So for $30, you get the project kit, the 16 cards. But you don't get the stamp set again, that you only get the stamp set once. So it means that the stamps are separate. So notice that the all-inclusive types kits, see how the stamps are like on a little piece of plastic, whereas when you get a project kit, the stamps are sold separately. Okay, so You Are Amazing is the name of the project kit. And this is what you make with it. It has good examples of how the cards get put together. I haven't done it yet, but I plan on it. And I, I think I have another kit I can unbox for my video, but um, it comes with twine, beautifully beautifully layered envelopes, or not layered, um, lined, beautifully lined envelopes. Hi, Lorna. Boy, this is like the never-ending box. It's like Mary Poppins. When am I going to get to the other stuff? Let me just dump it out like that. Here we go. And you have these beautiful cards, okay, and some gold. These are like layers to put on cards. So these pieces here are layers to put on cards. See, this is a card, and that's the layers to put on cards. So very nice. So you get lots of these. I love the colors in this kit. You are an amazing kit. There's lots of thought balloons and, and places to stamp your sentiments. Hi, Connie. So that's kind of fun and lots of things to pop out. So I will be working on this soon. I have so many, I have so many coals in the fire. Lots of projects I'm working on. I just finished some swaps. That was my, I was working on for the past few days. So nice, nice things for sentiments and layering. 
vellum and foil and more vellum and tags, lined envelopes, and you get lots of card, card bases. Now, just so you know, though, when you get your project kits, they're not as, they're, the cards are not the same as our card stock. So they're not always, these are pretty good. These are pretty good cards, but they're, they're like, well, no, I guess these are pretty good. But sometimes they're not as strong as our card stock. These ones happen to be as strong as our card stock. In which case, I layer them up again. In other words, I add, I add my own card stock to them and cut them apart. And I use them all. I use all these pieces as layers. I tend to just like card stock bases from Stampin' Up. And there's a couple other reasons I do that. Because, like, I can get more out of this card if I cut this up and use it on different cards and things. So, anyway, that's the kit. So that's pretty cool. Project kit. And then you, it recommends what inks to get with it, etc. Okay, we have other kinds of kits called... that. I told you that, that we had an all-inclusive kit, then we had a project kit, and then what we have is called a project medley. Okay, I'm going to show you the... So product medley is when you have... It doesn't give you, like, ideas like instructions like the other ones. It's a medley. It comes with a whole series of, of coordinating products like stamp set, dies, designer series paper. Okay, it comes with designer series paper and I'm going to show you the paper. But it doesn't come with instructions. So it, in other words, it's for, it's for more of your avid crafter because they can do all these things with it. So here's the paper. And I'm not going to go over all the coordinating colors. I did that during my unboxings. Hi, Sheila. I've done this before, my unboxings, but you can just see how fun this flowering cactus product medley is. Right? Look at all these pretty papers. These coordinate with the dies. So this designer series paper can be cut out with the dies. How cool is that paper? I would probably just use this side of it. Because, I mean, that's a no-brainer. It makes it look like I've done all this coloring and shading. And I hadn't have to do all that. So I definitely plan on making cards with this one. Okay, and... That's like the center. Oh, it has some felt. Oh, that was what I was going to show you. I've already given some of the felt out with some of my... I put a couple in my shares. But, yeah, this is little felt... Little flowers and things. And I last month for the paper pumpkin kit, so the one called Berry Comforting, those of you that are paper pumpkin, one of the coordinating colors in that kit was... Is, not was, but Calypso Coral. And these little, these little flowers from the flowering cactus looked really cute in the bear's hands. It looked like... The bears were holding the flower. And then someone said, you could make the bears like bridesmaids in a wedding. Like you could make it as a wedding card with the two bears standing behind the main bear. And I was like, that's a great idea. All right, so that's flowering cactus. So there are the three types of kits. Now I'm going to go over sweets. These are sweets. I would call this mega sweet. And let me see now. I brought my paper. I really have to reach for things there. Get it. All right, I brought my paper over because I'm working on paper. I'm working on paper shares right now. So without opening all these again, I just wanted to just show you, right, how cool this paper is. This is called Love You Always Specialty Designer Series Paper See? and then Love You Always Foil Sheets. This is part of my deluxe paper share. That's what the foil sheets look like. Okay, and there's different colors of those. So that's the Love You Always Suite. Um, some of you guys like the the black and white type of design shares paper. I don't have any of that right now, but I did order some because that's part of my regular paper share. And there's just lots of really cool things in the suite. One of the really cool things in the suite is this ribbon, and you wouldn't know how cool this ribbon is unless you actually unless you actually see it. It's it's double sided, so one side is I think this is the blushing bride ribbon. Yeah. One side is a metallic, so it's metallic ribbon. See, one side is plain for blushing bride, so that's really pretty. So if you do Valentine's and you do things like that, this is a great little, a great suite. I have this little heart somewhere. See if I have any. No, I don't have any of those right now. But there's little hearts, they're little charms, and they're little tiny hearts. But I did want to show you these love you always treat boxes because these are super cool. Oh, and it looks like a couple others have joined me. Yeah, that's why uh, I did. Oh, good. I'm glad you got the paper share already. I'm still working on getting others more paper to do the paper shares. Hi, Debbie. 
and Sally. Okay, so this is the Love You Always Treat boxes. See, that's these boxes. So look at how cool this is. This this folds like into one of those boxes. I'm going to do it real quick to show you how great these boxes are. Or how easy these boxes are, I should say. I showed how to do, like fold these and a little bit slower when I first opened them. All right, so after you do the little creasing, you fold the sides in a little bit. I'm just going to bend that part back a little bit. So fold the sides in and then you're going to, these sides are going to go down and, and hold, the, they're going to stay in like that. And then this side is going to go like that. So now this is all secure. And now because I got that out of the way, I folded it back. Now I can fold it down, snap it in there. So that's the box. That's how easy it is to put together. And then you have the little wrapper for the box. And I've been decorating these with designer series paper. That's it. Just go like that. And you have a slider box. And they're really strong too. So I mean, I'm really happy with this box. Because to, to make these ourselves with the scan and cut or other things, it takes a while. These are very strong, food safe, and they're pretty big too. Love you always treat boxes. Okay, so those are some things to highlight from that suite. I'm going to slide back now. I'm going to turn the page. Oh, and these are the black, I do have the black dots too. They look like this. I'm, use, I'm doing an embellishment share, and I cut these apart, and everybody gets some of each embellishment. All right, sliding it over. This is kind of fun. <laughs> this is... More, more Valentines and you can use it for weddings and things like that. Hi, Donna. Okay, so I'm not going to read the name of every product, but this is now we're out of that love you always. We're, we're not in that same suite anymore. We're not in the love you always suite. Now we're in the a different one. There's lots of different die sets that go with the stamp sets. Okay, just lots of things for Valentine's Day. Okay, this is kind of cute because I never heard of this before until my team leader, Heidi, was talking about it. She gave it out as a prize at one of the meetings, and she was like, hey, I'm giving away the Galentine's Day stamp. And I never noticed it, like, as many times as I look through this catalog, right, which is all the time. I look through it so many times. I'm always noticing new things when I open up the catalog. And she pointed out this Galentine's Day. So I guess it's a tradition, have a girl's day or something on Valentine's Day. I just, or around that time, so I just thought that was a cute, gallant, happy Galentine's Day. I guess that's what it means. If it means something else, let me know, but I think that's what it means. And this reminds me of the stamps that I have from last year that says, like, be as bold as your lipstick. That would go well with that. Okay, sliding it over. More fun products. So if you haven't got your catalog yet, you know, then you can download the PDF. Because the PDF will, it's in the description of this video. All right, so I'm going to show you what these look like. These are these look better when you open them up too. Because I don't think that does it justice. But when you see these, they're really cute. See, they, they come with these little, these are called Sweet Little Valentine's Note Cards. And they're just foiled, all right? They're really cute and foiled and you can stamp right onto them. And you get these two different styles. So these are just, if you don't want to make like a whole valent, you don't want to get a whole Valentine's set. You just want to make cute little quick cards for people. Maybe maybe a nursing home would be good to make a lot of Valentine's for. Hey, thinking of you this Valentine's Day. Sending love or sent thinking of you. This is perfect because you don't have to write a whole lot. It's a note card style. And there's actually cards in here too. Let me find the card. Here's the cards. There's two kinds of cards. There's this kind of card and this kind of card. So instant cards that you can put together. And if you want to decorate them, you can do that. But I thought that was kind of covering up. Like I was I was going to use these separately because I don't want to cover up this pretty pattern, right? Like that's kind of, even though that's a really cool pattern, I think that would like cover up even the pattern. So I would use this separately than that. Okay, so that's what those are. And then we have our kangaroos. I'll slide this over. You can look at that while I put these back in the bag. Isn't that kangaroo, kangaroo and company super cute? Thank you, Karen. I'm glad. I'm glad you love it. It's really, a lot goes into these. They plan them years in advance and they do a lot of market research and we're up with the trends. You know, when we come out with these colors, they're, they're trendy. When we come out with new products, they're trendy. So this is pretty cool. So somebody on my team got this and I saw it in the unboxing. It was super cute. 
Okay, Hydrangea Hill Suite. You're going to love this paper when I show it to you. I think, I think this one needs to be opened because it's one of those, I'm not even a purple person. Like I used to be a purple person. I used to like purple when I was little, but oh my goodness, when I opened this paper, I was like, it's pretty cool paper, no matter if you like purple or not. And I mean, there's all kinds of, so I, in the paper shares, you get six by, they're all cut into six by six, but in the real packs of paper, you get 12 by 12. But I mean, aren't these fun patterns? There's just so many shades of pinks and blues and purples. I especially like this one with the sort of the watercolor look. And this is nice too. Okay, now part of this hydrangea suite is this these foiled pieces of acetate. Now I tend to use acetate for making little boxes because they're semi-see-through, uh, translucent. But you can also use acetate on cards. I have an example of a different kind of acetate used on a card, but pretty cool paper. This is part of my specialty or my deluxe paper share. All right, I have this ribbon. I could show you how cool that ribbon is. Here's the sheer, sheer ribbon. Oh, and the pearls are to die for. Ooh, look at these pearls. Look at these colors. Yeah, the paper, right? You have to have that paper. It's just like, wow, the paper and the pearls. I love these. And the ribbon. And I like how everything goes together. Okay, so that's Hydrangea hydrangea Hill. I didn't get that because I'm all flowered out right now. But I do like all the different papers and the patterns. I don't mind flowered paper. I'm just, I just, I just can't. If I have another flowered stamp in my collection. No, I'm just kidding. I did order some flowered stamps this time around in the Dandy Garden one. All right, sliding over. Here's the rest of that suite. That's the, this is the um, called two-step stamping. So it means that you stamp the detail and then you stamp the color and then you can do like one color here and one color up there. You put, you put the detail in like say maybe a black or a dark color and then you stamp the other colors over the top. So that's two-step stamping. And look at the result of that. Pretty cool, right? Okay. My team member Joy, did. she made a really cool card with this. This actually looks, this is called wrap bouquet. It actually looks like newspaper. See, it actually looks like real newspaper when you wrap it up. The way, the way, I guess it's the way that the die is or the way that the stamp, no, it's the way that you stamp it. It's because of the stamp and the print, the print that you put on it. And then when you fold it around, it looks like newspaper. Super cool. Now I'd probably be getting this for Easter time. I just didn't get it yet. Because I have plenty of time. Well, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to creep upon me too quickly. But So our catalog, just so you know, when, it, when you go through it, it goes in sort of chronological order of the year. So we saw like Valentine's Day, because that's February, right? Then you'll see some Easter things and some spring things. And now this, is, this, this catalog goes from January till June. Okay, curvy. Quite curvy. There is a card from that that we just, I got in one of my swaps. This is what the die looks like. That's a really cool die. I made a lot of, I used a lot, the curvy dies. These dies here to make snow covered hills in the winter time. This was made by Christy. And it was one of the swaps. So the curvy dies can be used not just for winter scenes, but these curvy dies can be used for spring scenes. Okay, oh, the mega suite. Here we go with the dandy garden. I have lots of examples of dandy garden. Because I went to a workshop and we were allowed to order this ahead of time, so I've had plenty of time to play with that one. I must show you different things like the, this is the mossy meadow braided trim. Okay, and then we have the little ladybug trinkets. Super cute little ladybugs that you can put on cards. I have an example of that right now that was from my swap. So here's a card made from the suite. See how she put the ladybug? This is Nancy. Nancy made this in our swap. Just got to make sure. She used gorgeous grape. Gorgeous grape to stamp the dragonflies. And then she used the little ladybug trinket. 
I'm going to reach for something because I want to show you this is so cool. So this is a super, super sweet, like mega sweet. It has lots and lots of fun stuff. And I did this during the unboxing, but I just want to kind of show you this little bit again. I'm not, I can't show you every little bit of this, but I just want to show you that there's, this is a, this is a mega sweet with so many products. See, I'm going to slide this over. This, these are called memories and more note cards. Look at, look at these cool things. So I'm not going to go through them all because I've done it in my unboxing, but look at these fun, fun things if you want instant cards. You can get memories and more note cards, and then you can get the these, these ones, these card bases. They're number five. That would be called Dandy Garden Memories and More with beautiful matching envelopes. Okay, so I like that. I think I might do some thank you cards for customers with these because they're, they're nice and easy, but then I can put a... a one of the dragonflies on them to make it really pop. Put a little 3D dragonfly. Okay, I have the paper to show you and I have a couple of samples. So where's the paper? Okay, this paper is already cut into, into the six by six already. So it doesn't have to be cut down when I get it. So it's pretty nice. So. This is the designer series paper. Okay. This this was my favorite piece here with the dragonflies on it. I don't want to get it out of order because I have it in a certain order. So let me in my packages. Okay, so that's Dandy Garden. And this is this is just a piece up. Oh. That's the fine art floral. We'll just leave that out because I'm going to have to show you that scene. But that's part of my paper share. So that's the fine art floral. So what else do I want to show you in here? Uh, dragonfly punch. Okay. Let me see what else is over here. And then this, these. Yeah. So this is all part of the mega suite. So you can see that's the dragonfly punch. And and then over here is a better, a better view of the mega suite. So I haven't made anything with this yet, but I did get it. And then this is the Dragonfly Garden. Okay, so my examples of Dragonfly Garden are, here are my three examples. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making these, or at least a couple of these in the starter kit video I do. I wanna show you like how you can get all of this in a starter kit, including these butterfly punches from our annual catalog. I mean, you can get anything you want in your starter kit, but I have a way to, I've figured out how to spend just $99 and get $124.30 or something like that. I did it where you get all these th things in your starter kit. So these are just coordinating. These punches are from the but the butterfly duet punch. But then this is the dragonfly's punch. Okay. And I'm using Bumblebee and Misty Moonlight. And this is this is Calypso Coral with some Wink Costello on this on the tag. And this is a calendar. I showed how to make this with your scan and cut. I showed how to print out the calendar and how to make the calendar. I mean, how to cut out the calendar so you have these little little pieces. Okay, so those are a few projects with the Dandy Garden. And it was one of those things at first I thought, oh, that paper's so busy. What am I going to do with that paper? It's so busy. But then the paper really grew on me, and I, I really like the paper now. I like it because there's always one side. Even if I don't like it, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you if I don't like something. But even if I don't like one side of the paper... I, I sometimes like another side of the paper. Okay, and how did I miss that before? Happy thoughts. Maybe that's the one. Okay, interesting. Sometimes I just think of things right off the top of my head. I think that might be one of the cards I got in my swap. She had written something in the inside, and I was like, what stamp set is that from? And I'm wondering if it's from this one. No, it's not. We'll, we'll figure out what this one is from. Still trying to figure that out. Okay, let me slide this over so you can see that page. I don't make you dizzy. And just so you know, I'm about halfway through the catalog. Well, at least, I don't know. I'm not sure how much for what I'm through. I have to look at how many pages it is. I'll try to go a little faster. But it's it's like I'm seeing different things each time. There's those Love You Always boxes I showed you a minute ago. Okay, here's the Fine Art Floral Suite. And this is the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. And there is some ribbon. There's the ribbon. 
I have it already packaged up in my paper share fine art ribbon. I don't think I have a loose roll, but that's what the ribbon looks like with the little gold, the gold flex in it. And here's the paper. And there's there's lots of gold acid. There's gold acetate. I have some of that. That's pretty neat. And this acetate, it overlays on the paper, so it sort of matches up the pattern. And I have an example of a card that someone made with this, and with the ribbon. So here are the acetate sheets. I'll show you those first. The different patterns of acetate. Aren't they cool? They come in 12 by 12 sheets. Pretty cool with the gold foiling on them. Okay, so that's fine art floral. Now I'll show you the paper. So these were really, these actually were painted on canvases. The <laughs> Karen, I know, right? It's like, isn't this a paper amazing? So Sarah, she has a Facebook page. She's the CEO of Stampin' Up! And she was saying that she got to see the real canvases that these were painted on. She's like, you should see them. They're amazing. So doesn't it feel like it's like popping off the page like a painting? Like, it's amazing, right? <laughs> now for this, I actually used, I made a whole, I made my swap with this, but I can't show you my swap because my team hasn't got it yet but I took the other side of this paper. Like I wasn't really into that side, right? But I used these patterns for something else. You know, so like I like, I like even if you don't, you know, even the one side. Oh, I should have been showing you the inside patterns. Duh. But you get the idea. It's double-sided. There's patterns on the inside, right? It is amazing paper. And these were made from a canvas. So that is called Fine Art Floral. It is pretty amazing. So there's this, pa there's this thing called the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. That is pretty cool. I know I have... I'm going to show you the, the card made from this. And I want to show you something made from that embossing folder. And I, I totally got myself organized right before this. But now it's, it's like... Did it get buried? What happened to it? Oh, I know why. Because it's part of another example. That's why. Because what, the, what I... She, she used the folder, but I put it in a different category because she also used some berries. All right, so we'll get back to that. All right. Making room. <laughs> Cleaning up. Here we go. Here we go. Can you see that little plaster? So I was going to show you this with the berry card, but see that? That's what that, that's what this looks like. That's what that embossing folder comes out like. All right, this card is so cool. Made by Maria. And this is her card she made with the Fine Art Floral Suite. So this is what these gold metallic here, the number three, Gilded Leafing Embellishment. Let me move this over so you can see this page now. Gilded Leafing Embellishment. See that? You put some glue or some heat and stick powder, which is really just glue. You're just putting the powder on and you stick it. You can use like Versamark, stick the powder on there, heat it up like glue, right? And then you... Yeah, it's just, it's just, she rubbed it on there. I don't have this stamp set, so I was really happy to swap with someone. Look how she used this acetate is what I wanted to point out. She used every bar of this suite. So you, you don't really glue under the acetate. You kind of let it hang because, or you can glue it, but you want to glue it under the foiling. So she, she overlaid the acetate on the paper. Isn't that cool? So that's a great way of using the acetate. Yeah, it is really gorgeous. It's like, oh! Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to get the sweet. Because, but I have so much. Like, I'm all into the whimsical stuff. That's why I can't. It's like, it's hard to justify another floral stamp set. Oh, my. So here's the stamp set. Art gallery. So, you, you know, you put that on there, and it's like, okay. But then you put the gold on there, and you're like, oh, okay. Now, now we're talking, right? So, okay, many messages. I'm really going to need a bigger table for the... <laughs> this is crazy. This, this many messages is the coolest die. So it comes like in one piece. So this is... So you stamp the many messages, right? So thank you. <laughs> oh, no, yep. Yep, Sally, we need everything. It's like I want everything too when I go through it. Okay, many messages is one of these like hidden secrets in the catalog. You, you stamp once. You stamp with the stamp set and then you use the die and you get all these little pieces. Look, check this out. You get all these pieces. I mean, right? How cool is that? Here, let's just take one for an example. Here. Wishing you a year of magical 
moments and wonderful memories, right? So look at that. I mean, hello, who doesn't need this one to make all these sentiments? Then you just have a bucket of, embe I call it my bucket of crafty goodness. I just did this a few times. I even did it with just shapes only. So you can just take shapes only. Some of them got messed up. But you know what I mean. You don't have to even put anything. You don't even have to punch it. Here's a shape only, but this one's messed up. But you get the idea. You just put some cardstock through it, and you have a bunch of shapes that you can use for layering. Even little stars cut out, little hearts. It lines up really well, as you can tell. You just have to use washi tape, though. Hoping your day is full of love, laughter, and joy. I only had to stamp once and, this, and run it through the die, and you get all these things. But it's good to use the stamparatus because if it doesn't stamp all the way, you want to you know, run it back through the die cutting machine again. Okay, so that's called many messages. So that was one die. Okay, and then we have tranquil thoughts. Hmm, very interesting. I did get treasured medallions. I just haven't played with it yet. I really liked the punch. And what happened is, like, I always get sucked in. I mean, I'm a sucker. <laughs> because it says, save 10% when you buy the bundle, right? And even though I get a discount already, I'm like, well, I got to get the bundle then. Because I really wasn't as into this, the medallion itself, as I was into the punch. I'm into punches. I love punches, especially these corner edge punches. Look at these really neat edges this punch makes. So I was like, I got to have the punch. But now I get save 10% if I get the stamp set. So I got both. I think that's going to be a, a nice background pattern for me. I'm not gonna, sure if I'm going to color that in. To me, to color that in would be way too much work. Maybe I'll sponge color it, though, or watercolor it. But to color in the little pieces, like, you know, adult coloring book style, oh, hell no. <laughs> too much work. All right, circle of celebration. How did I miss this one, too? That's interesting. I like this. That's kind of whimsical, circle of celebration. I totally missed this the first few times around. Okay, this is um, Simply Succulents. And I have some succulent dyes, which would go really well with this. They're retired, but this is a new new succulent patterns. I guess they're back in style. And I even have a paper pumpkin kit that goes with succulent pattern. Ah, oh, my second favorite sweet after snail mail. This is my second favorite sweet. Absolutely gorgeous. So I will show you some samples of things from this sweet. Okay, one, two, three. I have three examples. So one is made by Jackie. This was part of my swaps. And this is made from the suite. And see the stamp set? Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. How cool. So she, this was, she actually put this in the back of her swap. So it's like we got an extra swap. <laughs> These are little stickers that go in the suite. And I have some paper that I'm going to just have to open up to show you because these are my two favorite. I put them together in one pouch. These are my two favorite sweets. Snail Mail, Sand and Sea, and Snail Mail. My two favorite sweets. So let's just show you this one for now. Oh my, you're going to love this paper. Look at these. I'm just going to have to flip them over as I show you because I want to keep everything in order. I like when I do my paper shares to like put the pattern on the outside of the... So look at the sea urchins. Sea stars, watercolor backgrounds, swirlies, shells. I mean, right? It looks like it looks like somebody's just watercoloring, and it just we all need to relax now, you know, and get get into the zen. Like with all that's going on in the world, this is this is the suite to do it. This is this is a therapeutic suite. <laughs> really nice. Send people friendship cards. Make them think you're thinking about them. Okay. And then this is the, some other things in the suite that, to take note of. And I did it during the unboxing is this, there's this die. And yes, this is one piece of metal. So you, when you stamp, when you stamp on here and you cut this out, you get this like whole background that you can use on your cards. Well, then I just snipped, snipped along the sides and I was able to get these, these beautiful shells with the pearl paper. So I made this, I made this live when I was unboxing. Like without even having a clue of how to use the die or how to use my new blending brushes or how to use the pearl paper, I just opened up the die and first try, this was what I made. Yes, my stamp's crooked, but forget that the stamp's crooked. I made this with my first try out of the box. Okay, so that's that's how easy this die is to use. So the reason it's, um, oh, I have a video on how to make the calendar. Oh, the calendar card, 
It's the, yeah, I have a video on how to make the calendar holder, but we can, I'll get the measurements for this one because this one's smaller, it fits in there. I'll, I'll ask her for the measurements. All right, so this, what you do is for this die, you emboss, this embossing folder goes with the die. So it all goes together. And then when you color it a little bit, I didn't even stamp this, I just sponge colored it. So the embossing folder is amazing. You can't really see that embossing folder. I don't think it's doing it justice. Maybe you can see it here. No. Trust me, there's a 3D embossing folder. And it really, it really makes the pearl paper like really pop. All right, so now I have to show you this one. This one is made with, you know, you know the whale of a time suite that in our annual catalog? I don't know if you know it, but there's a whale of a time suite in the annual catalog, and that, this is part of that suite, this background. So this is a cool card made by Kitayo's Creations. It was in my swap, and, and so this is Treen made this one. Check this out. It's a peekaboo card. And I wonder, if she, I'm not sure if she used peekaboo dies or if she did it by hand, but I... I would definitely want to know how she made it. Isn't that cool? So it opens up all the way. Here we go. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way with the sand dollar in there. Is that cool or what? Super heavy duty. Like it looks like she used seaside spray or the pearl paper. And I like how she put a little arrow on it. Oops, got a little stuck. My peekaboo card's getting stuck. There we go. Now it's sliding back and forth. Lawn Fawn Dye. Thank you. Okay, good. So there's a peekaboo Lawn Fawn Dye. Awesome. That's good to know because I was going to say that'd be too much work to try to cut it out ourselves with circle. I'm, I could tell there's a bunch of circle patterns in there. I like to dissect things and get rid of the mystery. So anyway, that's my second. I, sand and Sea is pretty cool. The Flamingo. Friendly Flamingo. I don't have Flint Friendly Flamingo, believe it or not, although I do love the Flint Friendly Flamingo. It's nice and whimsical. Okay, here is the Sweet Strawberry. Okay, Sweet Strawberry is a nice set that goes with something in our celebration catalog. I just did a celebration walkthrough, so if you missed it, please check this out on YouTube because I did a celebration walkthrough. And in this walkthrough, I was talking about the berries that you can get when you spend $100. The berry stamp set, Berry Blessings, and Berry Blessings, a uh, very delightful designer series paper. And when I was showing that, and here's some things made with that. Here's some things made with that. And, made by Arlene. These were Arlene's cards. Okay, but back to this strawberry. This, this is the free one, but you can get, this is our, back to our catalog, because I don't want to confuse you with what's free. That, that Everything in this one was free, but this, this one is just our regular catalog. So this is something that goes and coordinates with that very well. You have this one. So this is Sweet Strawberry Bundle. I'm going to show you what I made with it in my swap, in my make and take. This is that very delightful paper. This was, Nancy made this one. I still haven't opened it. Let's open it and see what's in there. Why not? You know, the intrigue. Oh, it's going to be hard to open, I think. Let's, how did she tie this so well? This is called a sour cream container. I like making these. I usually staple them or glue them together, but I like how she did a ribbon better than the way I secure mine because... These sour cream containers tend to pop open when you put a lot of M&Ms in them or something. Oh, fun. Fun stuff. She also did the berry, the berry theme. Oh, these are those. She started with the 4x6 paper. Lindors. There's two of those in there. Pretty cool. Okay, and then this is a little bag from my friend Sandra. And we have another one, too. This, another, this was the fine art floral. Those were... Another, another one made. Okay, so that's that's how you make your 3D strawberry. You, you punch out three strawberries, right, with the strawberry builder, and you fold them. You could use a scoreboard, but you just fold them. And you just fold them and you glue them together. That's how you make a 3D strawberry. Okay, so lots of fun stuff in my basket here. And the card, I had the card out. Here's the card that Sandra Lowe made. She's also the one, Sandra's also the one who made the berry basket that we made. I mean, she's the one that came up with the design for the berry basket. So this is the card, and that was real red, and this one looks like a cherry cobbler, prob probably. Yeah, isn't it cool? You just, it's, just gives you ideas of what to do with the sweet. So I like, I like her card. This is so, what's it called? Soft sea foam. Soft sea foam color. 
That's made with the sweet strawberry bundle. Strawberry builder punch. So if you're into berries, that's the sweet for you. Hmm. Pretty cool. Okay, then let's see what this is. How did I miss this one? You are amazing. It seems like there's a lot I've missed the first time I go around the catalog. Hmm. Hi, Sheila. Oh, yes. I won this one in a prize. This this is going to be a, a really fun, fun set. I won this in a prize and it's coming. <laughs> so, Shark Frenzy. So, I'll be doing something with that when it comes. I love super cute, whimsical things. And I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm almost positive I've, I've ordered this one called Oh Snap <laughs> with the alligator. I'm pretty sure I ordered that one because he's so cute. Oh, and incidentally, okay, I saw on... He was like Pinterest or one of the groups. I, it all blurs together where I've seen things. But the funniest card ever, okay? This lady has the alligator. Um, let me see if I can reach for the stamp set. Okay, I can reach for it. You got. I got to tell you this card I saw. She took this alligator there with the with the neck tied around it, right? And she played the. She made the alligator snap at the snap at the giraffe. Is that funny? So she has it on a card like that. The alligator snapping at the draft with his like little, and it's like, uh oh, or he's going, oh no, or, oh no, he's uh, he said this is not good, or and then it might say, oh snap. So I think you can make some funny cards with that. You can even have him snapping at the turtle. You can even have him snapping at this guy. I mean, that is funny. So I just thought that was hilarious. I, when I saw that, I like laughed out loud. I was like, oh my gosh, the, oh my little turtle just came out. I colored my little turtle. <laughs> That back on your feet, by the way, is in our annual catalog. So the alligator can be used for other things. If you don't think about it, you know, you can think about it in different ways. Okay, ice cream corner. All right, ice cream corner, let's see. Maybe I'm out of that, I'm, I might be out of that paper. I mean, uh, yeah, because I'm, I, I mean, I don't think I have like full sheets, but I do have a couple examples from it that I did make. And this is from the ice cream corner. This is the designer series paper. This is here. So here's here's the ice cream corner suite. Okay, the ice cream corner corner suite has really cool sprinkles and ribbons. Let's see. It has this really cool blackberry ribbon like that. It has an ice cream builder punch like this. That you can make ice cream cones. Okay, and it has this. It has all this stuff. So I have my. Let me move this over. It has ice, sweet ice cream stamp set, sprinkles, ribbon, and nice paper. I don't have any full sheets of that. I mean, I have like little scraps of it. Okay? So that's the ice cream corner. And here's the, here's the examples of what I made. So you punch out. So what you do is you stamp the ice cream onto paper. And you stamp it like once, but it's too dark usually. The first time you make your scoop of ice cream. So then you stamp it again. And then it makes this ice cream lighter. It makes the ice cream cone lighter. And then you, so that's how you get these light colors. You just stamp twice. And this is cinnamon cider, I think, that, that color down there. So I made this one with that, um, what is this called? The old, is this old olive? I think it's old olive. Let's see. Yes, it's old olive, making sure. And then I made this with that little Valentine card I showed you earlier. Treat yourself. And this is our new punch. This punch is um, in, in here somewhere in this catalog. We'll get to it probably. We haven't got to it yet. Okay, so those are some examples of ice cream corner. And let's put that over here and see what's on the next page. Oh, yep, this is a fun one. <laughs> hey, girlfriend. So this was one of my swaps made by Michelle. Isn't that cool? So look how the girlfriends come to life when you color them in. You can color them in all different styles and colors of hair and different, give them a different accessories. And that's just fun. So this is a fun stamp set. Okay. Hey, girlfriend. And let's see what this one is. Pretty birthday dies. I'm wondering what those are. Are these blooms or berries? I mean, what are those giant things up there? It's almost like blooms with flowers in them. Never noticed that before. Oh, fun is, the, okay, this is this is super fun. And coming out next month, we have another promotion. So this is, hey, birthday chick, okay? 
it goes, if you've been around Stampin' Up! for a few years, we had a stamp set that was so popular called Hey Chick during Celebration a few years ago, and it's coming back now. So it's coming back. We're going to have it again next month. And so it's going to be able to go with this. Also next month coming, just so you know, because I know some of you have already ordered this, next month there'll be dies available for this for customers. And there'll be dies available for the Hey Chick as well and for the Hey Chick and the Birthday Chick. So there's going to be some new bundles coming. But it's just so goofy and so cute. I definitely have that coming. That's super whimsical. Okay, Woodland Wonder. Very nice. I've seen some team members coloring this one. It was so cute. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, and my favorite. Yes, we've made it to my favorite suite. Ah! All right, here we go. The snail mail. The snail mail. This, I did a video on YouTube recently on how to cut out pattern paper with your scan and cut. So this is a dream for scan and cut users, this paper. And because you can cut these, these patterns out so easily because there's well-defined lines, there's good, there's no, this isn't blending in, like nothing's too close together. It's just an awesome, awesome paper to cut out. And then for the little ones, I tend not to cut out the little patterns like this because I just use them for my diaper folds and things. I had made some diaper fold patches in that video. And some little envelopes and things are better to use the little patterns for. I also cut out the mushrooms and I have some samples of this card. Yeah, this is this is the best. I, I just ordered like five packs of this paper. I'm not kidding. <laughs> all, the, all the paper I usually get just one pack for myself, but this one I got like five packs. I'm just going to, once I get my paper, I'm, I, even, I ordered some Bermuda Bay cardstock and I have real red cardstock already and I'm just going to go to town. I'm going to make a load, a load of cards of this because I think it's going to be fun for Valentine's Day. And just, just thinking of you, happy, happy cards. All right, so here's some things that are in that suite. We have these little resin hearts. Okay, that's in that suite. And I'm going to show you some samples. Now, first, I, first and foremost, you got to see the envelopes. These are super, these are so cute. They're beyond words of how cute these are. These are little envelopes you make with the dies. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I use those envelopes in a card. Okay, and you haven't seen this card before because I haven't taken a picture of it on purpose. I wanted to launch, I wanted to show you this card in my unboxing video. Then I'll put it on Instagram and my page. I had to show you on purpose. I wanted, did not want you to see this ahead of time. Okay, so that's what you do with these stitch. Because you're probably wondering, why would I need a tiny envelope? What would I use a tiny envelope for? Well, I stuck it on the card is what I did. And then I glued these little pieces in. It even comes with a little stitching piece to put in there. And the little hello stamp isn't, that's hello is part of the stamp set. So you do, that's what you do with the little tiny envelopes. And also you could put them on your boxes. So you could stick your envelopes or you could make a whole bunch of them and put them in there. Make a bunch of little notes, put them in there. But I think it would be cool to put on the top of the box. Like happy mail, and, you know, or special delivery. Put the little mail, put that on. Of course you put the designer shares paper around the box. So that's these little tiny envelopes with these little tiny, these little tiny notes that you put in there because these, these I cut out with the dies, the little stitch dies. So I, that, when I first got this suite, we weren't able to get the dies yet. And as soon as, and then, then later the dies became available and I'm like, oh, I had to order the dies to make these little envelopes. Okay. And I'm going to move that over so you can see the couple more examples. I'll move this over. So that's the snail mail suite. That was the die. Maybe there's a better picture of that. A better... Yeah, I think on the next page, let's see. And it, there's twine that I have in my paper shares. Yeah, I don't have the twine here, but I do put the twine. The twine comes in my, not paper shares, embellishment share. See if it's a better example over here. No, I'm surprised. It doesn't give you a better... See, that's why. See, it doesn't give you a good picture. So how would you know that that's a tiny little envelope, right? I think I knew because I went to some workshop online earlier this year called OnStage. Demonstrators can go to some, we have some professional development things we can sign up for. And I think that's where I saw the little die. I'm not sure how I knew it was going to be this cute. But that's, it doesn't do it, to me that does not do it justice, that little envelope there. 
All right, some more examples before I move on to the next page because, oh, there it is. That's how you know. Huh. See that? That's how you know. It's right there. That's the piece of metal is showing over there. That's how you know. Yeah, calendars. You can make little calendars. I mean, little love notes. Just super cute. All right, so here's my examples of snail mail. I made this one as part of a mystery stamping event where my team leader, Hattie, was like, she had us cut all these pieces, and then she's like, glue this to that, glue this to that. And mine came out like this, but I everybody's fold came out differently at the end. But I, I, know, I like how mine came out. But we did, I mean, other people folded it completely opposite, and they folded it this way and different things, and we all had a different stamp set. But it was a mystery. All we started with was whatever color of paper we, and whatever designer series paper we wanted, but it was a mystery as how, how it all came out. And then we all posted our cards and our team and showed it. I'm giving this one to a new team member, this card here. So again, scan and cut everything, scan, except for this. I, I stamped right onto the paper with the snail, colored in with the alcohol blends markers. Scan and cut for all these pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, scan and cut everything. Just cutting out that pattern paper, so easy to cut out. And then I'm going to write a note in there. And this is that Bermuda Bay cardstock, which I just ordered a lot more of because it goes with a couple of the sweets I really love. And then this is another one, Happy Mail Enclosed. I need to put white paper inside that one. So again, just, uh, this is a, I showed how to layer this in the video on YouTube, so check that out. I showed how to layer the mushroom. This is a 0 .04 outline distance and that's a 0 .08 outline distance. Oh, I love it. Okay, so moving along. This is um, Clever Clasp. I have, I have the clasp, but I did, my, my team member Crystal had this one. And I was like, well, how did I miss that? Because she sews and my mom sews and I thought, handmade for you. So I think I ordered it already. If not, I'm going to. I like the handmade for you, but I kind of missed it the first time around. These little clasps are cool because I used some retired clasp. I used these ones that were retired to make my calendar. These are called mini library clips. But now we have these clips, and these are stronger, way stronger. I mean, super, super strong. Super strong clasp. In fact, I can't even open it. It's so strong. There we go. So this would hold the calendar a little better. So these are a little clasped. And see how they put them into some twine in there? But that's what, they're, that's what you can use them for. Think 3D items. That's what you do. Think 3D items. Okay, and let's see what this is here. I'm not sure what that is. I just kind of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through some quicker. I don't know what that was. Lacy Pearls dies. How did I miss that? Lacy Pearls. I'm not even sure what you do with those. Oh, wow. You make this. That's pretty cool what you do with them. You make these petals. Wow, that's pretty cool. I never noticed that one before either. You know why? Because I probably saw it was like flowers and skipped over it. Because I have so many flower stamp sets, which I like. I have Ornate Garden. Okay, window flower boxes. That's pretty cool. Welcoming window. You could do a lot with that. Okay, this one, we were given this one as a, as a prize, or as a, when we went to that online event earlier this year. Enjoy the moment. Kind of eclectic and, like it looks like a pencil sketch. Okay, this one is called Wonderful As You. Okay, floating and fluttering. I have a sample of floating and fluttering. Oh, yes, I did have a sample of floating and fluttering. Should be right here. My table is a crazy mess now. Oh, it's okay. If I do, I do. And if not, if it doesn't, here it goes. I can find it. Here we go. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. So if you like your butterflies... Okay, this is made by Mandy. It says made by Mandy. I like this kind of fold. It was one of my swaps. So beautiful floating and fluttering and floating and fluttering dies. And I think this is going to go really good with that butterfly duet punch I told you about. I think it would. I think it would be like really nice to use this kind of butterfly, that kind of butterfly that I used earlier. If I still have it here without reaching so far, maybe I can show you. Yeah. I think this butterfly will go nice with that butterfly. See, they're gonna go nice with that one. They're just different styles. But so, so you could use the punch. This is made from a punch. 
You could use dyes. I mean, lots of cool stuff going on in this catalog that coordinates with other things. All right, so what do we have here? Thinking of you, congratulations. Flowering vine, okay. You can see we're getting more into springtime, just general general springtime ones here. If you if you have baby showers you need to make things for, this is a really good set for that. So make things for baby showers. So baby pull toys. It's a girl, it's a boy. Especially if you're one of those people that like organize for other people, you're the one that always gets asked to, to make the party favors. Like me, I'm the one that always gets asked to make the party favors. I already have a lot of this, uh, it's a girl, it's a boy stuff, but I'm the one that always makes them for my family and friends. Okay, this is nice Easter with the, the bunnies, and you could color in the bunnies. I didn't get that yet because I figured I could get it later, but I do probably still have a lot of bunnies from last year, but there's the oval punch. There it is. There it is. I told you that this, you know, this is um, a new punch we have. Okay, well suited. Well suited. Hold on one moment. While I grab, I got to grab my camouflage suit. Okay, so you're thinking, yeah, when would I use this, right? It's real fancy, fancy, fancy. Well, you can also make a suit like this. This is my kind of friends that wear this kind of suit. <laughs> we don't dress up like this. <laughs> anyway, so my husband's a friend. I'm sending him this thank you. I've been waiting to, to show it one more time. And then I was, I was going to take a picture. I haven't taken a picture of it yet. But I'm going to send this to my friend for a Christmas gift he sent us. And he likes to hunt. So we've got a camouflage jacket. So you can just think of it like you don't have to use the well-suited paper that comes with it. You can use whatever paper you want and make whatever kind of jacket you want. Doesn't have to be all this fancy, but this paper's cool anyway. And this dye is really cool. You make the suit like super simple. This was a simple, simple dye. This was my first try. So it's not really hard to use. I did have to make a couple layers for the shirt to make them pop up. So the collar. So you see that collar? I, I cut it through twice to make it pop up a little bit. Okay, so that's called well suited suite. So we do have masculine things in every catalog. And that camouflage stamp, by the way, was from the annual catalog, the camouflage itself, but the well-suited ties were from this one. Okay, I kind of missed this the first time around. Ride the range. Pretty cute. I like it. Blaze your own trail. Yeah, this is real country. Nice country set. I have a lot of friends that would really like that. <laughs> a cut above. I missed that one, too, with the lawnmower. That's funny. Happy Father's Day. And a father relaxing on the hammock. So that's cool if you have, like, you know, for brothers, dads, you know, anybody that's a father in your life. You don't just have to give it to, like, your own father. You can make father's cards, day cards for everybody that's a father. Okay, here are those new blending brushes. They're amazing. I love these blending brushes. Here's this antique set. Okay. One of my team members is a grandmother, and she bought, Joy told us how she loves this set. Right, holding her grandchild and everything and how it makes her feel. So you could think about all the grandmothers in your life and how you could give them cards like this. Grandfather too. Grandfather with the child. I mean, this is just really nice. Grandmother with the baby, grandfather with the child. So it's really nice. That's called, by the way, called Treasures of Life. Oh, and my favorite, one of my favorites, not my very favorite, but Hot Dog. I just did a tutorial on this one. This was one of my latest tutorials on the Scan and Cut from this photopolymer stamp set and I'll show you an example. I did a, I did some doggy treat examples and some other things but this is an example. I miss you, it's been too long. So I colored these in with the crumb cake stampin blends. These are very easy to cut out with the scan and cut. These hot dogs are you know very easy. And I just have, I even cut out the little thoughts of them talking to each other. And this is that well-suited paper. So I wasn't using the well-suited paper for suits. I was using it for my, this kind of card. Like this is called a slimline card. Okay, so it also has a stitch with whimsy dies that goes well with this. With this hot dog stamp set. Okay, what was this one? Choose. Oh, essential tag punch. This is just giving you some other ideas. 
Okay, I'm almost at the part where it gets into the index, I think. So this is a mini cut and emboss machine and a regular cut and emboss machine. I've done demonstrations on how to use these. I use them to make, you can use the mini one to make this little envelope. So like, in other words, when you, when you use a regular die cutting machine, it's a little better than using the scan and cut for stitching and things like that. But if you're just going to cut out a stamped image, it might be easier to use a scan and cut. It just depends on what you're going to do. This is just talking about all the bundles we have in our catalog. So I'm almost at the end. This is like our index. It shows you all the bundles I just showed you, right? All again, in case you missed them. And I've, I've actually just learned a very a lot of new things just by doing this with you. I actually noticed a lot of things I hadn't noticed before in this catalog that I'm going to be going back and taking a closer look at. I'm like, oh, I didn't notice that set before. Okay, so this is these are all the bundles. And whenever you get a bundle, you save 10%. So in other words, if you buy them separately, then if you buy a bundle, it's 10%. And, it does, and that goes for dies and stamps or punches and stamps. And then this is all the, the um, catalog at a glance. So this is, a, this is what we call our index. So it gives you a little visual of everything in the catalog. It gives you a little visual of all the papers and all the different things. So if you want to try every paper, I have what's called a paper share. And that's what, so I would, you get to try all the papers in 6x6 six six format. So definitely check that out. Thepaperedchef.com That's not my regular Stampin' Up! site. But I'll, I'll, I'll go back and edit the, I'll go edit the comment of this video so you can find it. Okay, but that's thepaperedchef.com is where I have, that's my personal website, that's where I have paper shares. So if you subscribe to my newsletter, if you, you can actually just go to my website and say contact me and I can tell you more about the paper share. I just didn't bring all that right now because as you can see, my table is very crowded as it is. Okay, so here's all the index. So I think that was the whole catalog. That's pretty much it. Talks about making a difference and what we do with our cards and making a difference and how Stampin' Up! supports causes and things. And it talks about hosting a party, okay, and the benefits of hosting a party. And it talks about Paper Pumpkin. That's, this is the last day to subscribe, or the 10th is the last day to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin and still get this month's Paper Pumpkin kit, which doesn't look like this. This is an older kit, but we have a subscription for kits that you can get monthly. I love Paper Pumpkin. I have lots of videos on that. Okay, so that's the QR code, but I also you can also do that at my website. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I only went two minutes over. I planned on making it an hour, and it's an hour and three minutes, so I'm not, not bad, right? So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you check it out, my site. And on there, you're going to see all the things. Just go ahead, and when you get to the site, then click, then look for Celebration, and you can find all the things you can earn for free when you spend $50 or $100 at my store. Between now and February 28th is Celebration, but between now and the end of June is this catalog. This catalog goes on until, I got to look at the exact date. Yeah, June 30th, 2021. So this catalog goes on for a while, but this only goes, the, the celebration goes on for two months. That's all for now.